Hey folks, I'm Blair Cobden and welcome to Sled TV. Born in the winter of Ontario's north, I've been working on sleds since the age of four. I took a video credit at Caribou College. Seven years later, I'd acquired the knowledge to have my very own quality snowmobile show. Welcome folks to another great edition of Sled TV. I'm your host Blair Cobden and I am ready to get rocking. Hey everybody, are you ready to rock? Downtown Amelia. Ice. Ice is one of nature's way of saying get involved. Get involved and fill in a cooler full of some ice cubes from the local gas station. Or get involved with your sled with a bunch of friends. But ice can be deadly. When you're out there with a 400 pound sled and you're looking to groove from all the way from Skewgog through the Trent Severn system up Simcoe uh, through Cooch and then back out the shore it's going to Brent's house, you can get screwed occasionally. I'm going to tell you how not to when we check out the ice on this week's edition of Sled Safety. Stay safe with ice safety. Safe. Sled, sled safety. This here is another example of how ice can be beautiful, but it can also be deadly as well. Because it gets kind of crazy when people try and climb peak big ice faces without the proper equipment. One false move here. Ah! Death lurks around every corner when you're dealing with ice. We're going to teach you how to stay on your toes to be ready for her surprises. Although this here is not exactly a good example of where you'd normally be sledding, this would be an example of unsafe ice. Any ice that's like about like that to about like that is not safe. But when you start getting into like the that's, then you're good. I'll give you, I'll just leave you a little show here. Take a look. I'm going to apply a little pressure to this. I'm going to apply a little pressure and you'll see how the ice responds to a weight uh, added to it. That, that's, that's broken ice. We'll be looking on the big lake and I'll show you some examples of safe ice. So when you get further out into the open water, you start running into situations like this. I don't know if you'd want to sled on anything that looks like this. One of the best ways to tell is take your implement that you ripped off the Swiss guy and then just start hacking into it and see where she goes. Give her a nice little tap. She is safe. She is safe. She's ready for what I call the pressure jump. This is what I do, a two-footer into it. Now, for all you folks at home, do this with your wife not looking and with a case of brew nearby. Hey! Gary! 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 